Today we continue with the digitalization of Deepcool products. As you can see right here, we have a case that also has a digital screen and shows much more than the AK620 digital. This is Deepcool's CH560 digital, which definitely looks completely different than their past cases and the older versions of this case and brings something quite interesting to the table. Now, before we start into the most interesting part, of course, I do have to mention that the side panel looks completely different. And the best thing about it is you just have to push the side top and place it upwards. Now, what does here happen? You remove the complete side panel because usually it was complete tempered glass. Now it's tempered glass plus mesh side and additional, I think this is plastic. So be careful when cleaning it so you don't uh, scratch it off. Not plastic, but uh, plexiglass. So you don't scratch it off and to basically keep the original screen protected, right? So you take out the whole part, uh, it's magnetically attached and just in case you might be worried, you can actually use a screw just to lock the tempered glass and the mesh side panel on the case, which is outstanding, of course. Now, we have a very familiar design and what I really love is the open power supply shroud where you can place uh, two fans that blow air to the GPU. You have three 140 millimeter fans on front and one 120 at the rear. They're all connected and uh, basically ARGB. You can, of course, if you don't have an ARGB header on your motherboard, you can control it with the LED button on top. You just have to connect the SATA power at the back to your power supply so you can control the lights. If for some reason you don't want to do that, which I totally understand, you get the additional cable inside the accessory box where you connect it and then connect it directly to your motherboard, which the motherboard software for addressable RGB takes control of the lights. Outstanding. The front panel is really easy to remove. You have uh, some uh, openings here that uh, look familiar for the, let's say, Deep Cools new logos and new design and everything going throughout uh, the deep cool sign let's put it that way and you have of course a dust filter you have on top magnetic dust filter and you have something at the bottom of the power supply shroud as well as um, some sort of a, a dust filter now when we take into consideration the space inside it's outstanding because you can place an rtx 4000 series graphic card place the 12 vhpwr cable and place the side panel without worrying that you don't have enough space right this is just enough as it is and it looks perfect fits perfectly and everything you get an anti-sag bracket for your gpu which you can adjust uh, in two locations so you have one and two the second one is a bit further away so it all depends on the position of the fans of the gpu so you could properly allocate the anti-sag bracket and properly adjust the GPU to be perfectly horizontal. Outstanding. At the top, you can place a 360, 280 or 240. At the front, you can go with 360, 280 and 240. Unfortunately, there isn't enough space for 420 because the fans go from the bottom to the top and then you need more additional space for the tubes. But I wouldn't complain here about that. And at the back, if you wish, you can go with 120 uh, radiator, but it can support 140 or 120 fans. At the front, as you can see, one, uh, three 140. At the top, you can squeeze three 120 to 140, and that's it for the fans, right? Now, the thing that I love about uh, deep cool cases is the rubber grommets. They're not standard rubber grommets that will uh, get out of the chassis that they are placed in right they are differently designed so when you push the cables through it they actually stay in place and this is outstanding now at the back side we have loads of space for the cables you have loads of standoffs to use the zip ties that are already acquired inside the accessory box so you can reroute the cables quite nicely have three velcro ties to just the 24 pin cable which is outstanding and you can reroute everything the front and the rear fan are already pre-connected at the back and you just need to connect the SATA power that's all there is to it unless as already stated you want to connect it directly to a motherboard then you use the cable that is already uh, acquired inside the accessory box that's it that's all that is 
Now one more thing, at the back we have a possibility to place two 2.5 inch uh, SSDs and here at the power supply shroud you can place I think maybe two 3.5 inch hard drives or one 3.5 inch hard drive and one 2.5 inch SSD. Loads of space for the cables at the power supply shrouding including huge power supplies so you don't have to worry about those things. Now what we got inside this case is Deepcool's LT720 white, unfortunately I don't have the black version but in that case I wanted to go with something black and white color scheme so there's that but it doesn't matter. Cooling AMD Ryzen 5 7600X and for the GPU we have MSI RTX 4070 Ti Supreme X. Now as you can see on the side and with this uh, tempered glass slash uh, mesh panel slash plexiglass panel that covers up the GPU usage, CPU usage, CPU temperature and GPU temperature which you can adjust in the same application if you saw the AK620 digital the same application is run on the taskbar so you don't have an application that will as somebody mentioned in the past comments bloatware. This is quite straightforward you just press the right click and you adjust literally everything. Of course the only annoying part is that every time you click something you have to right click the icon again and again and again but honestly no bloatware, no additional software that needs to be run separately or something similar to that. So let me show you what it looks like when it's turned on to run it. All you need to do is connect the USB 2.0 directly to your motherboard and shows the uh, utilization and the temperatures for your CPU and the GPU right here on this uh, little screen and you need to download their uh, software from their official website. That's basically it. It's really straightforward, nothing too complicated and you don't need to adjust anything in BIOS, in uh, additional software or anything similar to that. As already stated, user-friendly plug and play. I wanted to test out uh, and do some benchmarks with the AIO and the GPU and the processor and get some thermals to give you guys some idea how this cools. So we have AIDA 64 Extreme Edition with 7600X and 4070 Ti. CPU went up to 83 degrees and CPU clock went up to 5450 MHz. GPU 65. All in the let's say borders of normality when we're talking about the thermals and the clock speed for this configuration and I would say that's outstanding. Then we go to Cinebench. Cinebench is 83 degrees throughout the whole 10 tests, 10 benchmarks. Uh, CPU clock went up to 5350 MHz and the scores are quite outstanding I do have to say. Now it doesn't go extreme but it has a consistency and this is the most consistent result I have ever seen running uh, Cinebench so 14,665 it kind of goes around and finishes at 14,630 but it doesn't leave 14,600 it stays there it just varies for the lowest one was uh, 14,610 and the highest one was 14,665 which basically taking everything into consideration is outstanding consistency is what I'm looking for in a product and uh, even though this isn't only evolving the case it's also the AIO and all the configuration but you're looking for a consistency in everything and when giving your money this is something that you will definitely appreciate from a product. Now Deepcool has proven itself with loads of uh, products lately that they are definitely upgrading everything and giving us some outstanding products so without a doubt this case well PC Crazy approved badge. Now I know I've been lately giving loads of badges but if you take into consideration my past videos where I haven't given so many badges it was like I would say 20 videos maybe one badge and now we have le last uh, 10 to 15 videos up to 7 to 10 badges. I would say it all depends on what product arrives and what it deserves. It's not that the one that doesn't deserve a badge doesn't uh, deserve a recommendation, right? But the product such as this that got a badge is definitely high on my list and definitely respectable from my side when it comes to production and definitely some innovations and uh, giving us something cool that you guys can also count on. So 
Deepcool CH560 Digital, link is in the description below if this is something that will uh, definitely interest you and give you some more coolness on the table, let's put it this way, because after all, you do have a digital screen that shows literally everything that you need to know. And of course, finally, if this is something that you like to watch or would like to see more in the future, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, click the notification bell, and guys, really hope I will see you next time in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.